Hello everyone, greetings, hope you are doing good. In this video, I am going to cover as much as I can about hybrid Azure AD join autopilot for Windows machine. I recommend watching my first video, which is Azure AD domain join user driven for better, better understanding of uh, this hybrid Azure AD join autopilot. So without further ado, Let's begin. So first thing we will see is deployment profile. So in the hybrid Azure AD join, you can only have user driven, not the self deploying mode. So uh, this is how the deployment profile looks like. Let's move to Intune admin center. And uh, we will see all the settings which you need to configure. So if you select self-deploying, this option will gray out. Now we have Microsoft Intra Hybrid Joint. So I have selected this. Now, next is skip AD connectivity check. I, I would say if you have a VPN connection to your domain, you can skip this. But for normal autopilot, you will not skip this because for joining to domain, autopilot will do the ICMP ping test for which uh, we need to enable this setting. You can hide this. You can also hide this. Now, if you want the user to enroll uh, with the user account type as admin or standard, so I will keep it as standard. Allow pre provision deployment. If you want to go with yes, you can select yes here. Language, you can select. Yes, if you see the last setting, which is applied device name template, it is a grayed out. So this setting will be configured using domain join configuration profile. That's all for deployment profile. Now, the next important thing is, we let's uh, discuss more about what is what is domain join configuration profile which you need to configure with hybrid Azure AD join deployments. So during the domain join, which is on-prem Active Directory, Autopilot does a line of sight test to domain controller. We will discuss uh, the complete, uh, complete flowchart of hybrid Azure AD join in coming slides, but I would like to explain what this domain join profile is. So, if, if you have below option selected without VPN connection, autopilot is bound to fail. If you, if you select yes, and your device doesn't have the VPN connection to your, uh, to your uh, Active Directory relay, uh, it is bound to fail. So pinging is not the correct process to check if your device has line of sight to your domain controller or not. So the right test which autopilot does before it joins your device to uh, Active Directory domain is this test. So in uh, the troubleshooting, you can uh, run this command to check if your machine has line of sight to your domain controller or not. We will understand it in, in next slides. So now uh, we have how to create a domain join profile from admin center. So this domain join profile uh, provide details on what the device name will be and uh, what is the domain name and which OU the device will be created. So this is the correct way you create it. And uh, from where you create it, I will show it to you. So you, you need to go to device configuration, 
and select Windows 10 and letter and then select the domain join profile Here you enter the prefix. One thing I would like to point out that computer name cannot use percentage serial percentage nomenclature. So this is the correct way to do it. Domain name, you can give it the domain name here. And the right way to uh, add the OU is this. OU equals autopilot devices, OU equals COP, DC equals COP, DC equals your domain name, DC equals COM. Please make sure you have this domain join uh, profile created in correct way. Now in, the, uh, in this slide, we will discuss how this offline domain join actually works. Means how our device which is going through autopilot joins to your on-prem domain. So to achieve this, a connector, uh, which is offline domain join connector, is installed on an on-prem environment and, and on on-prem server. This connector requests the offline domain join blob. This connector, which is installed on on-prem, will request a blob from your Active Directory for each device which is enrolled as hybrid Azure AD join. So the process is when the device boots and user enter their credentials, the Intune checks if that device has any domain join profile assigned. If it is assigned, then it will pre-stage the connector with the required details on where in Active Directory, like in which OU the connector needs to create a device object. And once that is done, connector will request a blob. This blob is imported to device via Intune to initiate the domain join process. So this connector provides the blob to Intune and Intune provides this blob to the device, which is enrolling as a hybrid Azure AD join. So when user enter their credential, the device get registered with Azure AD and get enrolled into Intune immediately. And once it's enrolled into Intune, the Intune will send the details to create the object and the OU details to connector. So after the ODJ offline domain join blob is received from Intune, the device will join to AD. So this is the high level overview of how actually the offline, offline domain join happens in hybrid Azure AD join process. Now, uh, this is the complete overflow. I already told you, please refer my first video in this playlist where I have explained how autopilot works by giving the example of Azure AD join user driven process. So the the device receives the profile that is deployment profile from the autopilot service. Then it prompts the user to enter the Azure AD UPN. If you have company branding page configured, you will see the branding page as well. Once user authenticates, so at this stage, user will authenticate with Azure AD credentials, not the on-prem credentials. So once they have entered their credential and, and authenticated, it will register with Azure AD only, will not join Azure AD and then enroll into Intune. Then offline domain join process takes place. So this process takes place and device join to Azure AD. So after the device is joined to Azure AD and you have ESP enabled, that is enrollment status profile. So if ESP is configured from Intune admin center, it has device phage and user phage. So First, the device setup phase will complete. Once the device setup phase is complete, then it will ask the user to enter the on-prem credentials before the user phase starts. So user phase and device phase are, during the device phase, the device will receive the policies, apps, everything assigned to the 
device id uh, to the device groups and in the user stage it will receive the policies and assignments to the user so before the user phase initiates it asks the user to enter the on prem credentials one thing to note which is very important is when at this stage the device must be synced to azure ad from on prem which is through azure ad connect tool so if this tool had synced the user from on prem to azure ad then only it will receive the prt which is primary refresh token from azure ad and user phase will complete or esp will fail so user phase will fail so the one way is to make sure that you give proper time so that the ad connect tool is already sync which can be achieved by adding some apps during device phase so by the time the apps get installed during device phase the ad connect tool has sync the user from on prem to azure ad so this is all about hybrid azure ad join i will discuss the esp and autopilot troubleshooting in my next videos i would request you to please like subscribe and share so i get the inspiration for making more informative videos for you and thanks everyone for watching and you have a nice day